Let's stand and do the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, one God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I think you're all shot the other two times. <laughs> well, that's how. Yeah. You must have scared them away. Yep. Yeah. Your owl must be bigger. <laughs> Is it a pairing issue with those? <laughs> and we have liftoff. <laughs> public discussion. Is there anybody here for public discussion? Seeing none, do I have a motion to approve the agenda and minutes dated November 29th? Moved. Motion by Flash, second by Casey. I'll second it. I'll say it already. By Stecker. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried unanimous. Everybody had a time to review the claims. Yeah, I had a question. Well, as you just walked in, perfect timing. You you bought a 500 gallon LP tank for the maintenance shed. What's that for? Don't you got gas already there or no? That would be for the uh, new power washer. Oh, okay. Because I was going to say, because aren't you hooked to natural gas, sir? We are, but we wanted to run that on. Because we didn't have enough, we don't have enough gas, natural gas, to run all of our furnaces and everything. So we chose to put LP there. Okay. All right. Next, I was just curious because I figured you already had heat while you're back in another tank, or if that was a portable for something. Any other questions on the claims? Do I have a motion to approve the claims? So moved. Motion by Casey, second by Outside. Decker. Any more discussion on claims? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried unanimous.
I have a motion to approve the handwritten plans. Welcome by Stecker. I'll second it. Any discussion on the handwritten plans? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Right hey, Roger, yeah. you're meeting eight tomorrow, so no. And I got read your computer. You were saying earlier that that meeting's tomorrow at seven. No, I did. Oh, okay, because it says here tonight. No, it's a signal for right. no, city right. when you don't have a meeting. <laughs> Signature there. It's just the front page for signature, right? Yes. Check, but that's all I see. That's it. Uh, <laughs> nothing else on claims. We're up to the CO2 pipeline ordinance update. Do we have any information from Tom? Oh, I after I got your email, Nancy, I sent an email to. Um, Tim Whipple, who is the attorney that's um, representing us for the ordinance, okay. and he sent an email back, and he said on the ordinance side, he's received the comprehensive plan, which is the plan that the county has had for many years. Um, I'm reviewing it now. We'll review your current zoning ordinance, and then we'll adapt the Shelby County ordinance to fit specifically into your current plan and ordinance. This does take some time and has been delayed some while I have been meeting the IUB deadlines and preparing for the December 13th arguments. So, so um, that was his response to the ordinance. All right. And any other questions on your ordinance, Nancy? Um, are we using Shelby County setbacks or are we doing it next year? I assume that we were following Shelby County. I thought we did our setbacks and Todd wrote them down and we sent them to them about. Yeah, I know, but if we're going to win in a case, I think you're going to have to all have the same idea on setbacks. That's why we're hand to sue from Palo Alto. We're all going to have the same one, so we have to rewrite in order. Yeah. But I was told that they would, uh, whatever we did, they'd agree to it. Sis said that, uh, and Palo Alto, when they went over there and talked to him, they said 
When you said the same. It done, send us a copy of it. We'll copy yours. Okay. As long as we're all the same, that's the only thing I'm worried about. There'd just be the three of us together. Right. Well, that's that's where I think it will have to go back to the comprehensive plan. And I know one of the things was setbacks from residences that I believe Shelby County's Board of Health passed a resolution saying that that was their determination or whatever. So it was built off processes that happened prior to that. And unless we match all that up, I don't know if we can just match the numbers and call it good. Okay. But yeah, I mean. I'm going to rely a little bit on the attorney Wimple to that has to justify what we're doing. Well, yeah, and that's where at the end of his email, like Tim read it, he's going through the comprehensive plan. So that makes sense because he talked about that a lot down in the morning. Yeah, because if we're a lone duck out here, we're not going to win. Well, that's like I said, Sis Graham said she'd back us. Uh, is what I was told. I yeah. didn't talk to her. And then a fellow out there said they'd back us too. As long as we're all on the same page, that's right. Because mm-hmm. there was what, two, three, you didn't go to that meeting over. Oh, did you? I went to one of them. Was that one the one with Shannon and uh, Matt? Mm-hmm. Okay, because that's what they told you then, correct? That yeah. it, whatever Kasuth does, send us a copy and we'll copy, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the pipeline here is larger. The one in Shelby County is only eight inch pipeline. Yeah, we're 20, aren't we? 24, eh? 24? It's up to 24 inch here. How do they, when they say they got to run a pig through it once in a while, how do they run a pig through it when you got an eight inch line, you got 24 inch line, and you got variances? How does that work? You would, you would change it at each size. Yeah. yeah, you'd pull out the one and put what, a new one in. Where they got their pumps, basically. I'm not sure. I, I did see a video on it, and they have recommendations where they put the finish out. Because when they ran that pig through down at Laverne on the uh, Osler's farm by the Hydra's line, that's when they blew it. That's when they it got stuck, and then she they said you could bury a house in that hole. Right. Those pigs ain't the best things either. I mean, I would assume they would have to change it where their pipe changes size. They'd probably have, I mean, for the pipe to change size, they'd probably have something else onto the line, so that's where they have an access point. Probably for a lack of better term, yeah. Anything else on the CO2 pipeline? Let the record show what we've discussed. And we are up to appointment for NICOG related boards. That was yours? Yes, you were my alternate. alternate. Yes, you were my alternate. So, because you went to one or two yeah. for me, one time. I'll and take the job. Okay. It's, it's close. Okay. If you want to appoint me, Mr. Casey, it'll I'll, be your prerogative. I will appoint you to take my position on that board. I have a motion by Mr. Casey to appoint Jax to be the NICOG. Second. Seconded by Flap. Any discussion? Are we just doing NICOG or yeah. like transportation? That's all NICOG. That's all yeah, NICOG. That's, that's all NICOG. NICOG. They're, they're different though. Yeah, it was like still all Donnie, NICOG. Donnie's on transportation and emergency response. Well, we'll I do that one later when we do. When I talked to Myrtle oh, the other day yeah. on the phone, her main concern was my yeah. spot. Oh, right. Because I told her, I said, Don, you've got two spots. Know. And she said, those aren't as important as the one that you're on. So she goes, please have us one by January 1 appointed. We'll, we'll do the other ones when we do all the appointments. Yeah. Okay. If that's uh, all right with the yeah, rest of the board. I, I just okay. wanted to know what okay. we were doing. This one here, they always do different. So she's, the page says to have it to her by December 31st for all the appointments. So it's okay if we don't get it to me. Oh, well, okay. then we'll do one. I didn't know we had to do the rest of them. You told me they weren't as important. Yeah, so, I mean, you guys, well, so yeah you guys, let's, let's just, that's fine. <clears throat> I just, I just wanted to ask a question so, so I know what doing. Usually we do it when they're in new boards on. Yeah, and I saw in there it said something about the 2080s had something for December. Um, that 2080 establishes the counties agree to appoint their boards of directors in December. Well, Harley. He's city. 
So I got Maureen. Maureen, Maureen said she wasn't going to do it anymore. No, she right? said she was going to do it for another year, but okay. Linda is not. Yeah. Okay. Linda's yeah. not there. No, we don't find Linda's spot, do we? Do yeah. Linda finds Linda's spot, or yeah. or do they Nightcall going to find Linda's spot? No, I think we do. We, we do. That's fine. So yeah, I just wanted to know what we were both on. But yeah, it probably would be better to do the rest in the first year. I think not so. Open. Then you got the rest of the board involved, the new board. Yeah. Unless you want to call her, Tammy, and tell her that we got somebody to replace me. And if she says we have to, then next week let's pick okay. somebody for the other yeah. two spots. Okay. I can do that. So I have a motion and a second on the floor. <clears throat> All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. We have some transfers. Everybody take a minute to look at the transfers. Any questions? Seeing none, let the record show that we acknowledge the transfers. We are up to decision approval of tax incremental financing TIF indebtedness and certify account with county auditor and authorize the chairperson to sign. Anybody have any questions on the TIF district? Public inf information is $81,599. Right. And it is the Buffalo Township Urban Renewal one for the big six co op elevator. That's Gold Eagle. <clears throat> That's right. Now it's Gold Eagle. Yeah. 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 Uh, Move to approve. I have motion by plan, second by Stecker. Any more comments on the TIF district? If not, all those in favor, please say aye. Uh, aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Then I'm going to sign down here. You have that March to my trustee. It's got the name on here. I don't know. She, she has the actual. Oh, she had the paper for it. Paper for it. So okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Marge, you want to come down for the uh, Laverne Township trustee? Thank you. You guys good today. Yeah. So Tom Zetner, Dee Savage, and Levi. And then Mar Maryland? Maryland. Maryland. Three years of uh, secretary. No. no, we're just waiting. Okay. So Galen got in contact with me. Um, Laverne Township 
had a trustee that was no longer wanted to be a trustee. No, any Marty would still do, except he moved to Oklahoma. Right, he okay. moved down. So he had no option. Township. So this is the field of agency. Miss Levi. Yes. He lives on the same house that the other trustee used to live on. Sandy. Dean Frieders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dean Frieders was the one before J.D. Savage. He moved to Sherman Township. So would you like to make the motion to appoint? Levi? Yes, I'll make a motion to appoint Levi Studer as the new uh, township trustee for the term. I'll second your motion. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried unanimous. I got a question. Levi asked me that to get a seat from the other day. How come people in Laverne Town can't be a trustee? Because it's a town? It's incorporated. It's how because it is incorporated, so they cannot have, so they can only be like on the city council. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. So if it wasn't incorporated, people. like Irving, yeah. anybody can be a run incorporated. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Marge. Thanks, Marge. Doug was in here. All Doug again. Twenty one, isn't? It? Yep. You want to come back then? Yeah. <laughs> This is just a sign in now, so that we have the um, proof on the digital. Mm -hmm. It's not just sign in, so we can see what the words are now. The judge is, and she is hoping to be on the board, but they have to set their vacation versus paying for the storm, so she's going to get back to me. She's not able to run on currently three weeks in there. And she said she'd get back to me as soon as she could. Okay, so we do that on the last. She was being finished on the previous. This. Okay. That's what she was hoping for. But. Did you go and go with somebody? Tell me, please, Dave, can you go? I don't know if there's a deadline for how many days, but we have to have it for the one. Okay. On the second. Yeah. Well, 28, 29 to 30th, they'll all work. Yeah, I used to do it on the second, right after we closed. Yeah, but we don't have enough. We're not here on the second. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Good morning, everyone. Morning, morning, Doug. Uh, we did not receive any requests for construction of the road right away. <clears throat> Anything else? No. Um, just to bring you up to date a little bit on construction. Uh, the bridge down near Irvington, uh, they're planning to pour barrier rail tomorrow. After the barrier rail is poured and cured, uh, the remaining uh, construction that's left is guardrail. Uh, they still have a lot of things to clean up around there, obviously, but. Uh, Hopefully, we're still hoping that that would get opened up yet this year. So for traffic. Uh, up by Lincoln Township, they're pouring caps, uh, another cap this afternoon, and then they'll start driving piling again. Uh, the grid or the culvert replacement project in Grant Township, that is complete now. We did get uh, uh, Kyle for your information, that Heisman tile, that's all been taken care of. They find it? Yes. Perfect. Thanks. Uh, the wind projects, they're reclaiming a lot of roads, um, trying to get that all completed yet this year. Uh, open position and mechanic shop, Bone Rock uh, did get a hire uh, young man by the name of Hunter Ricky. 
is going to be taking that position at the transfer station. A uh, young man by the name of Blake Stevens uh, will be working at the transfer station. Titanka, we received applications. I received three applications for the two positions. And I kind of just glanced at those applications yesterday. I'm going to try to get some interviews this week for that. And then the last thing that I have to say, um, I did receive a crossing application from the Summit CO2 pipeline. I started reviewing that, but my plan is to uh, reply to them and say that we will not uh, we will not even take any action on that until after all of the uh, permits are granted from the state, the federal facility. We know that they're going further along with the project, so it's too early for us to even take any action on it. So um, I am going to reply back to that and go from there. Other than that, uh, if I'm going with design, and this winter we are doing some cleanup of our inspection to bodies of our books and go through the Irvington Bridge, they got them tube tripped out now the rivers back to Maine or not? Because they were down there for end of last week, careful several days to see that goes to Yeah. Yeah, they they, they got to get that yeah. center span all the false work stripped out of there yet. Um, and after they get that all taken care of, I think they could probably take that out. But uh, that's part of the cleanup operation that they got to get completed on the track to before, you know, they're, they're able to call that bridge on call 318. Good. I don't know what, as of yesterday, it was still in. So they're going to pour that tomorrow going to be one yeah, they for them? Uh, I think it's this afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> they're planning on pouring. Because you told me once it had to be what, 30? 40 degrees. 40 degrees. Air temperature is supposed to be 40 degrees, yeah. And that uh, the upper black top where they uh, milled it off, yes. ground it, uh, that's tall on it. Yeah, they say, did you, is that okay? Is that done? Yeah, or or we gonna, yes. It is done? Yes. Okay, because uh, when it snowed a week ago and the snowplow went over it, there's dips in there where they ground it that run east and west, the groove marks, and they said that was packed solid ice and snow, and the grove grader can't get it because it's not smooth, smooth across there now. And the guy told me, he goes, you, you drive over that, it pulls you. I said, yeah, I know, you pulls you north and south when you drive over that. So I didn't know if it was a done deal or if they had to come back and try to do something else or... That might be one of those unintended consequences that we get, but I mean that cross slope should still be in there. Um, I'll but, take a look at it. Because after they ground it, you could see those lines that went east and west about yeah. it so far. Well, that's the ones that they say filled up with snow and ice, and the grader can't get them out. I drove over, but I didn't. I don't. When it snowed, I think I went down the Irvington Road. I didn't go down the Galbraith Road. So they changed the profile of the road. Well, they had the dupes in it because of that bearing went out. And then they ground it, and then they come back and put some sealer with some rock on it. And well, the semis is small beat all that sealer and rock off. So now there's, like I said, there's that grooves, and you drive on it. If you're going 55, you can just feel your truck go like this. Yeah. Wants yeah. to pull you back and forth. But what is that, Doug? Two miles? Mile and a half? Uh, it's over a mile. Over a mile. Not too. Or up a mile and a quarter, I think. <laughs> but no, I just had a concerned citizen ask me that yesterday, okay. so I'd mention it to you. We'll look at it. Thank you, Debbie. You bet. Anything else? Thanks, Thanks Doug. Thanks, Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, the first round to the last one. 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 Yeah, the first round to
Jack, you know those barns on the Irvington Black Tuff, you know Bristow's? The what? You know Bristow's? The little three barns he had on his post? Yeah. They're gone. Oh, really? Once about that farm. Oh, yeah. They got lit up the other day. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, that sound. <laughs> yeah. That's a good sound. Yeah. Did you get there the other day? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I didn't have any of that, but it's just a good that so Mark, do, you, do we know what the attorney fees were when they went back to the dollar dollars? Does anybody know that? Mm -hmm. That all got filed against day seven? Yes, it was all filed to day right. seven. We are concluding county business and starting on drainage. First thing on the uh, agenda is a letter from Brad Carr, follower, Proctor, fair grades are getting starting ICAP decision on insurance coverage for the Anton case. <clears throat> and do we just acknowledge the decision, Marge? Is that what we should do? That is my opinion. We should have a different one. Just acknowledge the ICAP. Yeah. Anybody have any questions on the uh, ICAP decision? If not, I would make a motion that we acknowledge it we and put it in the motion. Minute. You just gonna acknowledge it. We're gonna acknowledge it. Well, I got a motion in there, but would be a motion to accept it. Uh, I think we should that way it'll be better minutes. Okay. I'll move to accept the decision or to acknowledge the decision and put it in the minutes. Is that that would be the correct? Yeah, acknowledge. And then put it in the minutes. I'll second. second. Second by sector. Yep. Do we have any discussion on it? Mar, do you have anything else? Put it in the drainage records. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion. Motion carried. It'll go in drain seven during the record. Next, we have decision to hire an attorney for case LACV 027745 on William and Mary Goshi LLC 
Global Assets, LLC, Joseph P. Goshi versus Kasuth County Board of Supervisors. We have an attorney that's ready to handle part of the case. Um, <clears throat> I talked to Jim Hudson, and he can contact us. Bob Goodwin, but he said since you haven't been served, he's going to talk to me if he's willing to um, work for me. But since you haven't been served, he said there's no requirement to do anything until the moment is and, and I had talked to Pat about that. I mean, I've been getting emails on this for well over a month now. Bolton and Mink is included in the lawsuit. They have their attorney on it. They also have not been served to my knowledge, but Todd said he thought it would be <clears throat> advantageous to get our attorney involved because it's it's not going to hurt anything. It just might as well get it done so we can actually be working on it. So is that your motion? Yeah, I would move to appoint them both as Hudson and Hudson. Goodwin. Hudson and Goodwin. Okay. But we don't know if good one's going to do it here, do we? Well, you don't know if you need him yet or not. We're not hey. We don't know if good one's going to do it yet, do we? <laughs> That's what Hudson was going to talk to him if he's available to do it, which. He's available. If he's available. Yeah, he'll, yeah, I'm sure he'll do it. Where's the other? Ames or Des Moines. I want to say Ames. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's Ames. Hudson will be part of the portal. But yeah, Hudson's Hudson spoke promise, but yeah. I think Goodwin's in Ames. Are we supposed to do some milk to the portal? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's so. all good. Yeah. Does anybody want to second Mr. Decker's motion? <clears throat> I'll second his motion. Any other discussion? Do you have anything else on it? Well, do you call Hudson now, or do you tell Todd to get a hold of Hudson? Or? I Marge, mean, Marge, well, Marge, Marge can let him know that yeah, it's Marge official that way. I have talked to him about this already, but just three phone calls. Marge will email both of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that would be good. Any other discussion on the subject? All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed? Motion carried unanimous. We are up to discussion. Landowners request to use spoils from an open ditch. Specifically yours, right? Yeah, and yeah, I saw Diane's thing was on there, but um, Mark Lubenthal's on his way, and I had told him I figured 9 to 9.30 with what we had on the agenda, so we're since we're ahead of schedule, he's not here yet, but he's coming. Let's so. go through the, do the drainage requests and stuff. Then. Yeah, we can skip over that and come back. We have Marjorie mm -hmm. and a couple requests. Want me to just hand them down? Yeah, I think it's a lot. You want me to read it or you see it in the folder and everything? Empire Pipe Services, they did the televising. Oh, okay. For a man, Kato on. Yeah. Is it working or? So this one actually is the majority of the tile is okay. There was a spot right off the side of the road where actually two intakes have been put in over the years kind of side by side i don't really know what's going on there but um that was kind of jumbled up mess to put it mildly like it was it was not really great in there but it was the tile was open so it was it would be able to flow if there was water in there there was it was bone dry when we went in but through the road was the biggest concern and then we went 
I don't know, six, 800 feet total. So we went way well out into the other neighbor's field and there was nothing substantial for restriction. So probably try and get the um, intakes off the edge of the road fixed and make that better. So it's not washing out or being any issue there. But otherwise the rest of the tile is just fine. It's it's small, but it's working. So it was a drain and that's what you want to look at. Or what? He, he was concerned on the speed and thought it was restricted. By small, well, that's just because it's a small tile. Yeah, it's an eight inch tile. Takes time. You're only going to get so much water through it. So how long has this been going on? Because we had grow the last two years. Well, prior to that. Yeah. Okay. Last moment, huh? He just brought it up to me this summer and stuff, and I said I'd get it um, televised when they were in the area for other stuff. And then once we did get televised, I realized we hadn't done the actual request yet. So how much water can be in the tiles for? You can't televise it. Depends on the size of the tile. Ideally, half of the pipe or less, because you want to be able to see uh, um, with the camera and stuff. Yeah. So they can they can raise it depending on whether they're in a smaller, bigger um, car, whatever. But yeah, I mean half of the pipe or less is ideal. Is this a cord hook to it? The way they go, or is it no cord hook to it? No, there is there is an umbilical. Mm -hmm. So they back up then, or do you just pull up the they just bolt, wind it up? Bolt, it up. Yeah. They got power um, wind on the umbilical, but then they can also drive forward and back with the car too. So I mean it's it's got both capabilities, but when you do back up and go to pull it out, you pull the cord with it. Usually that's as fast as the um driving, but if it's not, if you're a ways out there or whatever, they'll just roll their speed back and slow down a little bit so the cord stays straight and stays tight. So but yeah. So that day we well, we already paid the bills for it, but that day we actually did four different things in the same day. I need a motion for the supervisors to handle their drainage requests. So moved. Casey. You second it? Yeah. Last seconds. Any more discussion on the request? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Both motion carried. You said nine o'clock, Todd. He should. Yeah, he should be here soon. But I'll let you know. Do you want to do discussion with the auditor? Richard, can um, really wanted to give us an update on the jail, so you don't mind that call being yeah. open. Okay, you're ready. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> and then while he's coming up here, um, I emailed you yesterday the order setting the Zoom hearing has been moved to January, so there will no longer be one next week on the 13th. It has been rescheduled to Friday, January 27th, 2023 at 1 o'clock p.m. And I did email you a copy of that order, so you should have that over. January 27th. 27th. That one. That one on the 13th. Next week you can cross that one. Uh, you have a Zoom here? What? You can have a Zoom here? I don't know if I'm just can wait. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, that's okay. One second. On the Zoom, my computer, so I won't get snow and this anymore. Yeah. Or once I get out the third, it might quiet to it. Do it in here. Yeah, you could do it in here and then we'll have Zoom up on the that'd be my suggestion. Yeah, why can't we just do it here? Yeah. Well, just an update on the project cross street. The last six units are coming. On the 12th, they're going to start it with the crane again. Back to the cards. They flipped the date from the 18th to the 15th of December. So I don't know if we're ever going to get them. So we still don't have them. Not one. Yeah. You'd think if they had three of them, they'd send them. So whenever you guys want to follow the meeting now. Get her set up. Put some fire under somebody. The project time. was supposed to be put back in May. Right. The cards should have been here way long time ago. So there's some some funky going on. Sounds like one hand don't know what the other hand's doing. I would agree with that. But I said from the beginning there was some. Funny business between them two. Sure. Yep. You want to make an agenda cool. item for a meeting to talk to yeah. the contractor? Talk to them and see you want to contact them? I would just pick a date and I'll tell them they need to be here. Next week? No. 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 I won't be here next week. <laughs> <laughs> so unless you're picking a date. <laughs> 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 20th? That's fine. That gives them two weeks to plan. So, okay. We'll do it on the 20th. Because then, then we should know for, sh for sure, because the fit, we can always cancel an agenda item. Right. Asking, because they are saying now 12 15 is a new date. So, if not, if we don't, well, that'd, be a, that'd be a good time to have one. Yeah, because if we don't have it by the 20th, and then, then. Yes. Then, then you can make on our change. I just want to make sure if they, for some reason, they do show up, we can just cancel. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like a plan. And if they do show up, they could still come here and have a visit. That's up to you. I don't care. I'll come sit in here. Well, the agenda won't be out until the 16th, so it will yeah. take out the agenda. Yeah. Well, there's no reason to have them in here if they come. I'm assuming, unless you have something else. Oh, okay. I just want to be able to get control of the building. That's our main concern. Yeah. And get the project wrapped up. It's been a long one. It's a little overdue. Yeah. The crane will be here tomorrow. We're going to set the new chiller just for that information. They're working on piping now. Okay. Other than that, everything else is working. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. Perfect. Appreciate it. Okay. Roger. Uh, one o'clock. That's Mark. Well, if you want to talk on Jerry. Yeah, we'll go to back to drainage. Um, I got to find out where I'm at. But... You're here. I want to use spoils off the ditch bank, correct? Right. Uh, tell us in what you want to do with it. I didn't hear what you said. What do you want to do with the spoils? Bring it up to my yard and use it for a building pad. Okay. It's on drain. Drain four. It's on drain four on the back slope. That's. They got some high spots in that area too. Where's this at? Um, you know where Jeff Dietering is? Yep. Right on the other side of the road. Okay. To the north side and it's blacked up. So right upstream of that. So they haven't been leveled yet totally? 
No, not totally. It's been partially leveled, but it's not buttoned up. You plan to do it now or in the spring? Probably not in the spring. Now or? Well, probably in the spring. Probably in the spring. As I say, it's probably frozen now. Eh? <laughs> it's yeah. very good. If it's not frozen now, it will be soon. Yeah. I, do you have any more questions? Well, just keep the integrity of the bank. Right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we don't want gouges. It's, yeah, yep. that's the main. Yep. yep. Ready for motion? Yep. So, to approve it. Uh, state his name and word DD4. Do you want it for Don? You look at all bad for the owner. Do you want it? What name do you want or whatever? The, the landowner. Okay, so it'd be Donnie's name, right? Okay, so to approve Donnie Lubenthal to use spoil off drain for open ditch for their personal use. Jamal Gloria. That's all. Stecker makes the motion. I'll second his motion. Any more discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Opposed? You're good. Thank you. Coming. We are back to auditor discussion. What's that? What's that? Oh. Next week, yeah, they got it. Next week, we finish up our budget requests for um, out of county or sorry, um, out of department head requests and applications within the county. So that'll be starting at 10 o'clock next week. I will send you a schedule of what we have um, listed, and we'll also be in the agenda. So we'll see what. Uh, what we have all day um or not that far yet i think it would not be at this anniversary okay that's fine but um i think it's just the morning but i will send you a schedule so you know for sure and then i am setting up i sent out a shareable fillable calendar for department heads to set up their um meeting times with you in January. So um, they have been setting up those times and we right now have two days that we're setting aside for those. And then if we need time after that, then we can do it after that. But that would be the first week in January. So hopefully we can get most of it done at that time. This week, um, we'll talk to Jim Hudson. Options for removing dirt from DD4 budget presentations, and then um, a year of service award. So that's all I have on for next. Good. And that's all I have. Martin, do you have anything else on the ring? Did you go to the meeting? Did you go to the meeting? You went to the meeting? I was yeah. 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 Yep. We just will go to board report and then file. Yeah. Um, so I actually had three meetings in that same morning um, at yeah. IDDA, Third Judicial District, and a uh, Zoom for workforce development with the state. So I tried to pick up on all three of them actually, but um, IDDA had they had. Three speakers um, talked about practices for um, improving water quality, some of the things that are happening in that forum. Obviously, the business meeting, um, legislative priorities. They did not have anything in the legislative priorities about the carbon pipeline, but they anticipated stuff coming up about that this session and said they would handle that accordingly. Um, 
decent meeting, but nothing too crazy. They still ain't promoting that. Bust the tile with a lead up, run across the ground, put it back in the tile and run for cleanness to get. Oh, yeah. They got the nitrates up. They're still, still yeah. trying to push all that. The buffer or like no, the, no, no. the wetland bust, areas. Well, they'll like a main, they'll bust the main, then they let the water come up out of the ground and runs across the top so that the sun kills the nitrates and then it goes back down into the tile and the way it goes again. I don't think they're promoting that. Oh, um, we have. There's. We have programs for, for that. Well, there's. There's different different ways of functionally doing that. Like the one that would probably be most common or most commonly proposed, I would say now would be diverting it into a holding basin of sorts that has like wood chips or something in there to soak in the nutrients, especially nitrogen that's in there. But then Anything that, like when I've talked to Tyler on all these things, anything that cannot be handled by that, if it's heavy rain events or whatever, your main is still intact. It just kind of diverts it if it's able to. So it's not, I don't think there's anything where it takes it up out of the ground and puts it back in. Yeah, it all does is bleed up, which you get a heavy rain. Trouble, yeah. Well, we, a lot of those programs don't work in Kasuth County. We just don't have enough fall. Well, and and one of the options, like I know Bolton makes got how many they're working on. They got like six in the county. Yeah, I was gonna say about a handful, give or take. But that's the initial round. There's other sites that are potentials if they go to pumping stations because then the so um, fall and the grade and all that stuff doesn't have as much of an impact. It, you can you can do a lot more things if you incorporate pumps because it opens up the geography that way. So there's there's possibilities, but I don't know if anything just breaking the tile, free flowing it up on the ground and going back. I don't think they're doing that anymore. We were talking that on that Moon Valley watershed meetings uh, going to there promoting that at the time for that. Yeah, that's the water heads the Des Moines and they get all the nitrates. They might have more fall for stuff like that, but I, yeah, I don't, I haven't heard any of that around here for us. I don't know about guys, they won't, they won't do it. I don't know why you Well, you better tire your fields up and bust your main and then your water's just sitting there. There's, there's way to handle nutrient reduction strategies without impacting drainage negatively that way. You don't take care of the new nitrates. Cut the city water out from running down storm drain. More fertilizer on the city streets than there is in our fields. Yeah, there is. Per acre. Mr. Casey, do you have anything? I had uh, no meetings, but I had, uh, well, I got, went down and talked to Levi. I got him to be the trustee. Uh, had a guy call me on that road, which I know exactly what he's talking about, how you sway back and forth. And I had some people call me on the pipeline. I didn't have any calls on wind this week, so we we're pretty much they're done. <clears throat> but are they all done with construction? Now? Oh, they've had the last one up for maybe up in your area, Mark. So that'd be weeks, a month ago already, probably. Okay. <clears throat> they built the dirt back and put that black dirt back and level up. I see some of them are spinning, but. I don't know if they're running, but they took the brakes off of some of them. They'll probably turn them on January 1st so they can save another year of taxes. They've got a tax abatement again through the state. Perhaps. How did they, that one right by mom's that didn't run since March, they put new blades on it around Thanksgiving. They had two, not as big cranes, but they reached to the top. They didn't take the head off. How do you take a blade without it dropping? How do you get the sleeve back? With her? Is it because it's narrowed to fat? So you can stick a sleeve on it? Or how the heck? You I've never seen blade? them do it. Yeah, the blade. Oh, they took the three blades. a whole bunch off. of bolts on there that bolts up to the hub. Well, I, I would, thought they'd take the whole hub off like they did when they set it the first time. I would think they'd have anchor points on there, but I don't know. But you can't there let that blade hit the ground, or it's, what is it, 500 and 
35,000, something like that right. per set is what I was told. A lot of money. A lot of money. Mr. Plath, did you have any? Uh, no meetings. Had a one person stop me. Had some questions on EMS. Uh, for me that uh, Dave Benton resigned from the city position. He did what? He resigned his city position. He did? Okay. Yeah. So I just had a little about a half hour talk with the with the, this gentleman over EMS. And so that's what I had. Oh, Marge and I met with some of them on drainage one afternoon. And we gave them our rules for crossing the county time. That was most of it. And other than that, Friday, I didn't get out of bed and didn't feel good. <laughs> I didn't wake up till eight o'clock. You must have been so there. Mm -hmm. so I, I said I was in Fort Dodge before. <laughs> yeah. I said, I'll stay here for a while. So, anything else, anybody? Check the schedule for next week. Uh, we do have a couple set up in the afternoon. Right now it goes till two o'clock, but I know there's a couple that may reschedule, so there is some set up. So, <laughs> you have to wear a suit tomorrow, went next week? Next week. So, remember that. Won't well, she talk to you? Mm-hmm. Talking to you. Whatever it might be. Yeah. Might have to send an email out. Send yeah. Doug. Send a text out. Some people don't check their emails. Yeah, Roger. Some people. <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't check my text message. Maybe so you didn't check your text. You came with a suit yeah. last week. You didn't check it. It was perfect though, because we had those guys that are resigned or retired from the suit on Rogers. It was perfect. It was. All right. Well, we got three a week. Ten got a lot of budgets. Well, we'll go into recess until ten o'clock. Paper, paper. Don't say this one's old. Oh, it's amazing. Oh. Not this one. That looks good. Are you still recording? I'll leave it on just so I don't have to split it. Okay, and I'll leave that way then. That'll work. Morning. Is that morning? It is. Yeah. Every day is fine for us. Do you have anything? Or? Um, just uh, that obviously, as to reiterate, it's always been a good opportunity. We're always here if you if you want to um, ask that we do things proactively. We absolutely try to accommodate that. So, but I understand you're going with Mr. Whipple, I believe, correct? Uh, and uh, I'm representing a few other counties, uh, but uh, we're here to collaborate and hope that's something we can play into as well. So, thank you. No, here. We'll see what happens. See what happens. Yeah, you know, we try to prevent that, but you know, no, yeah, it, it'll, 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 yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it essentially, we're probably like prevent three months ago now, I believe, with the state. I, I know I updated you folks with the email, I can't be a yeah. number, but um, probably less than three, even. probably less than three, yeah, it's probably been two, two and a half. Um, but uh, so we're early in that process, and it's another uh, about 10 months until we even have a, a hearing, uh, which they haven't set the date for yet. So uh, until that happens, I hope you really know. So, uh, but we appreciate I you might have a good person on your utility board. Question. Yeah, who knows? I, I don't know. Yeah. Don't sound like she's pretty good. I haven't heard anything but that. Doesn't mean that that doesn't mean anything. People don't tell me a whole lot. So I should go out Monday morning last week. Who are you? For uh, Isaac? Oh, for fun. <laughs>
No, different me. Okay. <laughs> well, you don't go to me, it's the microphone. <laughs> I can't blame you there. I forget, are you a summit or an I'm a guy. You're an absolute. That's the post. Yep, yep, yep. So, they're the better ones. <laughs> I appreciate it for sure. Thank you. <laughs> Try to be. But I don't know. So far, it's been less kind of popular. So. Yeah, I mean, and again, that's something I try to help out with. And I know David had a few questions on uh, how cross drainage districts as well, uh, or cross tiling. Uh, if that's something you want me to get for you, I can definitely do that. Uh, well, I'll outline. You'll you'll follow our rules as far as we have a procedure before you get to cross any of the county. Just for the county, yes, but I mean for private tile as well. Oh, I think private. that's what he was mentioning. Uh, well, I know that part of, part of that reason is there's a lot of paints down in his area that aren't county. So yes, it's, it's there's like in my area, there's a lot of mains, but you still have private tile for you know the pattern tile, the individualized landowners. Yeah, you know, but a lot of the facilities that serve multiple people, most of those are drainage district yep. tiles or facilities. Yeah. So our tile is a little older too. Probably is that the reason why I don't know. I don't, I don't know about that. No, uh, just yeah. that it's mains. Uh, yeah, because you're not going to cross much new means in the Okay. Oh, I don't think they cross any of these two tiles. No, I don't think they will. But you're going to cross a lot of them. Yep. You would continue well. I think you might have a potentially kind of new private one, but that still would be 10 years old, maybe. Top man. I'd have to, I don't, I'd have to remember exactly which sections you're going through, but there's most of it. Well, yeah, I mean, it's all West Dakota, the ethanol plant, but I don't remember how far south of nine it is off the top of my head for different areas, a couple miles, I'll say. But yeah, most of it would be over. Okay. Which is clear, Dan. <laughs> Oh, well, um, yeah, I'm late, so I have a hundred and ask you. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. Yeah, I talked to you briefly here a while back. Yeah, I think I did too, but I've been running so, so yeah, you know, but you yeah, have a business card. Right? Yeah, of course. I, I will be talking to you. Part of your, <laughs> oh, who are you talking to? So perfect. Yeah, let me try and see if you here. Or I guess not that you're going through yeah, specifically yeah, my yeah. area, but yeah, yeah, but you still have the yeah. 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 questions to ask or three. Like yeah. that. Um, I'm always here. I usually like, here every yeah. couple weeks, I would assume. <laughs> you know, but uh, sometimes it takes me a little while to get back just because I'm, I'm usually in Northwest Iowa. So for that, you're only stop. No, no, and no. everybody else on Iowa. Weeks ago, everybody has a meeting at 8 30, yeah. to 10 30 on Tuesday. So, where are you based out of? I'm based out of the point. You're yeah. originally I'm from Indian Yep, go ahead. Uh, but yeah, based out of the point and uh, trying to keep up and answer your questions. So, so you know, I'm driving and coming up here. Yeah, I'm putting you on my speech. Oh my God. Yeah, three and a half up here, you know, about three and a half. Yeah, yeah depending on which way you go. But I drove up last night. Uh, oh, we don't do that, but I was like, I don't know. How long? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So, where are you taking it? Good. I haven't seen it since. Do you like to go laugh? But thank you. Yeah. Thanks. See you later. There you go. Yeah, congrats. Thank you. I thought mean, that was a little stressful. Uh, that's good to have it over. Yeah, yeah. At least, you know. For nothing else, just to know, hey, what's the next year? Four yeah. years, my life going like? Yeah, exactly. Do I plan yeah. for this? Do I not plan for this? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah I actually, there's a, there's a lot of sort of, yeah. 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 At least, well, even before it's legal, I think so. There's a lot of terminal for I mean, it's not a lot of terminal for you on your lots of elections. Just get it at that. 
Yeah. Yeah. But regardless of your ex guys, um, I actually have to run. Sorry, I have to go with the code up. Oh, you're going up there for lunch. I, yeah. Well, I have to go for the farmer appreciation thing. Yeah. So I probably I, be up there. Event. Well, sorry. So we, we, we have budget stuff, the uh, agenda at 10. Yeah. But I, I would probably try and sit up there. Yeah. It, it, I was on the next day. But <laughs> yeah, you're, good. you're good. <laughs> we should catch that. We're going to the mills this afternoon. Hey, there you go. Well, so, well, what time will you be going through that? Yeah, I guess we probably won't leave till after lunch. So. Well, never mind. The, 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 Technically, it's from 10 30 to 2 30. So, if you have time, so you buy. If there you go. That's okay. the farmer appreciation thing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean where's that? We're that's just, not, well, at the end. Not we're, fine. Fine. We're, just, we're just hand some stuff out. Uh, I've got a piece that I had that I could pick up. And, uh, yep. Yeah, because Elizabeth had told me she'd be there when I texted her. Yeah, doing some handshaking. Yeah, I guess just. just no, I mean, just just say yeah. I mean, no, 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 I don't. I don't I, again, I don't care. My job's like, you know, just to uh, be nice. I don't know. So, no, I'm not. not I just give it back. Kiss yeah. anybody. But yeah, no, I, I know. Um, this may be. I didn't. Oh, yeah. Well, then, yeah. Well, then, yeah. Well, let's see. Yeah. Of course, there you go. This, this red question. Yeah. yeah. No, but it'll be good. Uh, I don't know. You think quite a few people will be up there? Depends on who paid attention and who gets the text messages. Yeah. Because I saw that one. It was, it was not that long after I talked to Elizabeth. Yeah. And then I got another piece of more to remind her. So, yeah. Yeah. I would think there'd be some there. I don't know how many, but I don't know. We could. I might spike them for a little bit, depending. So I got to find other things to do before she did so much towards the weather. And yeah, we did it just so much times yesterday. Oh, yeah, you guys saw it. I saw that. I saw Kaylee post that on Facebook. Oh, okay. Just like, yep, that's so nice. awesome. That'd be good. 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 My uh, college kid. My mom. I also have time to win for some high school kid or college. Yeah, that's just good. Fun 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 especially if I'm going to I mean, that's what I do. I like to wait. You want to graduate and start out and start working on that. Two thousand dollar rent. Should we lean on throw that? Yeah, to my own college. I mean, I I don't see your fancy car. It was something. No, you don't see that. You know, yeah, yeah. Of course, it might be down there. Well, okay. Not all the time. I sold it to Kathy. It's actually our. There's sometimes our first time we got your counselor or what they call it. Free marital, free marital counseling. No, it's pretty to get married. And usually the best, you know, friends are just marrying, but. Uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> we have heard that Haley there. The form of crash is tight. No, dog. That's a high. Christmas uh, early? Christmas. Christmas. Uh, yeah. Uh, so you guys won't. You got your weight lifting today. I know. <laughs> so, the uh, reporting of the stuff are still on. <laughs> um, I've been getting emails in this for a month plus, so I think. Oh, is this the boss or dad? I figured it'd be about three to four inches thick. Five months more. Well, figures. And he gets to get rid of the paper. <laughs> They'll be lighter than that. I trust you. You're on these. Your name's not on them. The last time I was this on. The last time I didn't get one either, but I was not yet. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see your name on it. So this is one before you. No, my your... name is on it. I've I've been getting served already. These ones all go to the TMG. These are all for tournaments. Yeah. Well, this is no, all the way. Which it says. Yeah, this is. Yeah, I have this case number. Oh, hold on. See. So my name. All right. So yeah, I'm here. Yeah, probably. 
See you later, Kyle. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. See ya. Take care. You can have words too. I'll be back. Oh, this is why you're going back. Yeah. yeah. Well, I need to take it down. down the oh, okay. Oh, All right. Yeah. 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 I'm going to, I'll tell the rest of them that they're getting served. Oh, okay. I never went well today. I saw it in the pickup of the band. Did it again? Yeah. Race in town and country. There you go. Looks just like our other one. I got that and stuff. I'll have a Chris in the country. Okay. Before we hit a beer with the going. Yeah, I 75 miles an hour down to the interstate. That's how I ran my first time in country, too. Instead of here in Wyoming, actually. <laughs> That's a big deer. No little forest, no reception. Oh, that makes it even worse. I was in it. I was on vacation. Got to go camp out in the medicine bow at the forest to go hiking. So I was by myself bumping around. Going 50 mile an hour, right when I was past the sign, this is deer crossing. Boom. Jumped right out of the ditch. And Deer went flying. Oh, yeah. Drove it home. But... Yeah, I was going to go with that too. Save each other. Let's see. Are you looking for the vehicle? Uh, no, oh, no, I you just curious. I just happened to see it at Johnson. You don't see cars on online for that price. Yeah, oh, that nice. You guys have that pretty well clean. No, I, it, it's, yeah, Haley played it out really well. Oh, well, this is garbage line. That no. Industry advocating. I 
That's good. What's that? At the end. Well, hey, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I'm Jake, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Thank Thanks, Jake. Thank you, too. See you around. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. We'll see each other around a lot more now. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah, sounds good. For good reason. Yes. <laughs> For the right reason. Exactly. Now, these off three of those guys. We'll see you guys around. Sounds good. Yeah, have a good one. You too. Do you have any boards that you're hoping to be on? Um, well, I know I'm going to go for the EMS. I, I could be good for it. Or EMS before, so. You've been on EMS before? Over in Palo Alto, I got the notes for I worked on the ambulance for. Are you on there with Liz Worker? I bet. She's the MS. That sounds familiar. Yeah, because she was, she's in charge of the West Bend area. Or? Uh, yeah, but she's in, yeah, she's Palo Alto County. She, she works at through the college, I think. Okay. It's not to do with the MS. Um, because she, she this was, not uh, and this was years ago. Oh, oh okay. So it's it's probably. Four years? Okay. Oh. Yeah, four or five years. Okay. Because I worked there. I was I worked in the ambulance while I was finishing up college. Okay. So I did a little bit of the ins and outs of that. Sure. I think it. But just asking if I would consider being on the call for the air connection for it. You're all, you're all getting playing? What's that? Is that are you supposed to be playing? I don't know. Are they in the back? Oh, yeah. Well, maybe that's our, those are notes. But no. Yeah. So that's, that's probably good. what we can use to. I'll probably be on the Google Watershed. We, we actually won't be on the Google Watershed. That would make sense. Be one on that right now. What, what is Niagara? The North Iowa Area or Association of County Government? Oh, I think you're right. Okay. Government or something like that. It's like what a, do do? um so basically it writes grants. Uh you discuss like projects that are going on in different oh, okay. different areas around yeah, the Niagara is like the, the North Iowa, they have you know West Western Iowa, Southern Iowa, they have different areas. Okay. I was kind of just looking at that a little bit too. Oh, so then we just take notes based on whatever department work is coming in. And maybe because there's just a note sheet per yeah per department. So guessing as people come in and request money, we just write down what we're requesting and all that. Like that. Yeah. And sure we'll uh, I'm sure we'll do it all. <laughs> what is the day? It is a library. It was two. Um, there was two for today. State County Economic Development oh, yeah. and oh, that's right. the City County Library Association. Is that even an ACDC. That's another one that I was actually kind of on the floor. Yeah.
to find all of that stuff the first week. City County had to come to develop that. Oh, okay. Okay. That's that. That's the big small. Well, I guess maybe I was looking at the path. I guess oh. it's not technically a department of the county, but it's a board that the board the, the county oversees. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll go to the library. KCDC is uh, um, made up of both county, city, and other local governments, right? It is like a um, our IT director, he's the third, he's on third city council, and he's a uh, okay. he goes to those all of the KCDC. They probably met Mark. Actually, so that's part of that. You automatic development vehicles and stuff. I'm not on that. Okay. Oh, you got into breakfast, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I probably have to exclude the Yeah, I probably reckon it's a space. He's Boss is the director. Does Tammy have his current stuff in there for you guys to look at? Or well, it's all, it's all like each department has notes, but then in the front here is where the. It's so the that's, that's got the levies, but it does not have the current budget. This no, is, so no. they've got all the old stuff out. Yeah. I don't know if I have my old stuff to wait in there now. There. So the fun begins. Oh, yes. Good times. A lot bigger. Oh, absolutely. Yes, I guess it has to help it. Yeah, there's, there's a lot to go over there. Oh, it's just getting started now. It's going to have something cold. Well, that doesn't have any. That's just the empty binder, basically. It's oh, got the letters in there, but it doesn't have the full budget. So, you know, oh, no. That would be beneficial. Yeah. 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 So we're, we've got uh, four guys from the federal government here this week, and we're doing remote learn class week. They're doing risk assessment, and so uh, they're doing full monitor network in our fishing test last week, which did not go very well. Cool. <laughs> well I was going to you know, I sent you. Yeah. Thanks. So we, I was going to say I was going to say some things about that. So, well, there's two parts of it. Number one, Officer 65 caught their fishing email, so I had to. Oh, just so you know. Oh, yeah, just yeah. Yeah, yeah. they just well, want you to say, are you going to post it? Yeah. My, oh, then I'll wait. Yeah, it's IT security. Yeah, so you won't want yeah. to post that. Uh, Friday, if you don't come in, those are not posts. You can. Which time? Uh, I don't know. Sometime Friday. I think there's actually a She Yeah, she can attack some time. Oh, it's not fine. It's not fine. It's not a job. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. I I might be. It'll be good. It'll be good. Nineteen fifty four. Sure, but it is. I may be available. Um, well, you know, but it's gonna so be a whole different stuff. Yeah, I'm sure. Not for public as well. Yeah. Actually, no. I can work in no one Friday. I'm close. Work in no one. I think I'm. Actually, I'm in Algona tomorrow. I work in Algona for a while. How about tomorrow? I'm on Thursday. So I'm going to on Thursday. It'll be fairly close. I don't know. 
half an hour week. <laughs> Last week it was Spencer at Salt Lake, Back City. <laughs> I guess I went to Brit one day. Oh, okay. Do you know Mark Meister? Name is familiar. I probably it's recognize him. Coach. Oh, I was very tough. Isn't it? Yeah, but he's a shoulder carry here. Half the full cup. I know. Hard to be that coach. Got to get in the weight room. Get back. I've been left out. Get in shape. I've been left out. You might not be able to tell what I've been left out. You might never be able to tell, but I still do it. <laughs> no, he saw my dad. He's understanding. <laughs> Same goal as me. <laughs> it's a protein. I eat four eggs every morning. You're probably like, I, I mean, now I can kind of see myself slowing down a little bit on the meals, but I can just not log on anything at all. It yeah. doesn't change much. You should try my diet. I can see them. Seafood, seafood diet. Seafood. I've I've been on that diet. Really, it's all working. It's so serious. Yeah, we're gonna like five pounds. Yeah, and you're old twig. That's why. Yeah. I was mining well today when. It'd be way left than me. Do you, uh, <laughs> you put lead in your shoes on busy days? <laughs> like my like my van. You throw some tools and stuff in the back so it rides nicer in the snow. Give you a tank. There you go. Give you a tank. You did pretty good player in that. There you go. Yeah, right. Said gas. All the gas going down? No. Is it? For now. For now. For this month. Yeah. And we'll buy it. Yeah. We told we drove, yes. drove almost 50,000 miles this year. A lot of times. Yeah, I, I can relate. We've had that Equinox for a year, but 40 some thousand miles a year. Wow. I don't like that. The, the value is <laughs> But with 25,000 miles, now it's got 60 some thousand miles up for 60. Resale just went. Yeah. yeah. Right, I should think about selling. Yeah, sell it before it reaches 100,000. Yeah, yeah. That's when it really, yeah. I don't know. I mean, depends yeah. on how long you want to keep it. I'm just obviously. tired of making car paints on it. So we actually are going to probably sell it. Oh, okay. Are you so going to put those gonna, payments into like a. Are you going to sell product? it or trade it for something? Sell it. Okay. Well, that's different. Yeah. If yeah. you're reducing the vehicle, that's one thing. Yeah. Then we'll be debt free. Just. Are we a real life people outside of so. the new uh, Woody Disney Jr. is like going to have all wheel drive? Van? Yeah. Well, vans don't have many vans on all wheel drive. I don't think they do. I think some people are free. Oh, I don't know. Haley puts on like 15 or uh, 10,000 a year. So that's going to be her van. She get her motorcycle during the period of summer. Come on, come on, here to get, let me get a motorcycle. Yeah. I don't know how. To, I've never been to it. But I had great yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd like a garage to keep summer. it in first. Yeah, I don't have the spot to keep a, a motorcycle. I have my shop, and then we have our garage, but it's 
And my garage is like a lumber yard, it's half or more full of lumber. I can't hardly fit more wood in that garage. It's a double car garage, barely enough room to park. He's certified lumpy. It's all you need some lumber and let me know. So you kind of be taxable valuations history. That's some history stuff in it, but yeah. Well, and that's what was granted to these apartments last year. Was that a secondary that way? Yeah, well, like, like the like, amount granted this week. Oh, yeah, that's all that's that's all for stuff. Um, yeah, out of the so then is this like then we can write in here what they're requesting? Yeah, so these all come out. Yeah, you, know, you, know. you can write on it, put her back in. Um, yeah, and then and then all these just when each department comes in to talk to us, we write a note. That's where. I well, yeah, you sure. can write notes there, but there will actually be with different line items. So, like one will be fuel, one will be utilities, phone bills, all okay. your common things that way. How it's broke down in the you know, the computer system, it'll have all that, and then you'll have prior years. You'll have. Um, how much of this year's budget they've actually used year to date so you can see okay are they going to go over are they sure. under what's it looking like that way and then obviously the discussion with the department is to say what's it looking like sure and that's what you take notes you can and sometimes i write numbers or write notes with the line items so i know okay yeah the car like is the sheriff that they talk about buying three new trucks this year sure. or whatever. I sometimes I make notes on the actual line items too. It's how I yeah. want to do yeah. it. But that is a place you can't take. Because there's one of them on every one of these towns. Yep. Yep. Those have probably been there for years. That same page. One of those deals. In in those books. waiting for someone to use them. Yeah. And I mean, I I don't I've written on some of the note pages on mine for the general ones that way, but most of the time I kind of do it. Yeah. So you only get to do these for this period of time. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you can have them all year long, but oh. that's what they're used for the budget. Yeah. I didn't know if this was something we kind of all year, you know, for the year or what, but. <laughs> Yeah, so there will be when the departments come in with their budget, they'll that'll be more detailed information for all the line items that way. All those cards. Okay. Um, yeah, absolutely. I, I'm not in front of my calendar at the moment. I'm actually uh just in between meetings here uh could could you send would you be able to send me a text with your name and number or email and then i will i will get back to you here a couple of few hours yet today thank you mm -hmm. bye good evening webster city there you go my dad Hey, you got a card from Donald Trump in the mail yesterday. Forgot to give it to you this morning. I'll save it. <laughs> sure, that's important. Mm -hmm. Especially if they're still sending it to me at my parents' address. I haven't lived there for four years. <laughs> right. I have some why I, I I just can't get them to send. Uh, like say I had them before. Three, four years ago when I was at my parents, I just can't if I write my new address every time and I call them and told them they still send it to my parents. <laughs> I, like something they're not gonna live there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Then you won't actually get it. Yeah. Um I got something for my grandma from one of those like charities or whatever. Oh, sure. You want, yeah. Like, the donation thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't even remember which one it was. And it's like I've lived there for no, five, six years now. Okay. Where did your grandma and grandpa live now? 
that are just on the edge of Bancroft. Okay. Right on the west side. Did you get your truck fix? What? Did you get your truck fix? Um, <laughs> you got I, got new, I got a new tail light. Okay. Did not get the rest taken care of quite yet, but I think I'll be able to take that, take care of that without the body shop. You need to get those dead poppers. Well, I beat on it with my fist the other night, and I actually moved it, so it didn't quite make it perfectly straight, but I think it'll be close. I think I'll give the rest of the hammer and piece of wood. I didn't want to beat on it quite as hard with my fist as I would with the hammer. <laughs> I'd be a well, I'd be a little more momentum behind it. <laughs> so that, yeah. And then that with it. That's nice. This the weekend. Wait, the sun is over here. I've already worked ahead, so yeah. I mean, it's at four thirty though. You got supper following, maybe. Maybe we'll see. See how good of a time. Right, how many will people get sick here? Hey, you come here. I mean, it's Sunday. I don't know if you want to hear me soon. You can just walk. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody tell you there's a fire if you can't play. It looks like a right, like Taylor Swift. I need to look up the What's that for? Our language model. Okay. Then give us a packet. On. Originally, yeah, that's from the yeah. Iowa Renewable Fuels. Oh, yeah, I got that. Yeah, for sure. Urging on. Maybe I got it. Support of the pipeline. No, I got it here. I didn't look at it until I took it. Okay. Time. But yeah, I did get it. Yeah. Pipeline. Um, oh. No, it's just kind of in general supporting. The, the PO2 support right. the pipeline, the hardest support the alcohol industry is what they're saying. Yeah, I was talking to cousin yesterday, who's a lawyer down in Colby, and their office, he can't really talk a whole lot about it because their office has some pretty major clients on both sides of the pipeline. But, but, uh, it's a, yeah, he's kind of. It, it's going right through my uncle's ground on a tool. Oh, wow. Morning. Good morning. Hi. Stranger. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Not a lot. She drove. I drove here. <laughs> that made me tired. <laughs> it's such a long round. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, hey, it's nice now that the bridge is open. You don't have to take a shoe tour. I know. Yeah, that is true. Um, yeah. Yeah. I started watching that for two hours. Can I see? What? <laughs> I, I was watching. TV in general, it was actually Paramount, Paramount Plus. I was watching some stuff for a while. Oh, that's pretty good. But um, then had a friend call up midnight, and that was just as well around there. That's 
That's fine. I've had a later night before work meetings. And all oh my God. <laughs> that call. Um, we have a friend. friend. A friend. A friend. A friend. A friend. Um, it's good to ask. Yeah, right? We have the nursing home call. That's the medical part. And I want to get call into the morning. And then See, you see it's sad. You're like, if I didn't have my phone on while there was no way I would wake up to it vibrating. Um, I turn my phone off at night. So I, <laughs> I mean, I usually leave on library just yeah. so I'll never wake yeah. up to it one yeah. time. I'll, I'm gone. I yeah. do library and then. Well, and it's it's like three rooms away from where we are, where it's plugged in for the night. So that helps too. I probably should. I always hear the theme of the text. Yeah. That is waking up. Yeah. More presents for us. Yeah. All right. More things that you get educated on. <laughs> yeah. Lawsuit. That's what we got served this morning. Oh, nice. Per person. Yeah. Really? Yeah. For what? Mr. Gosher. Merry Christmas. Oh. What? 489. <laughs> How much? 489. That's what that is. Yep. What are you getting sued for? Um. Previous board members all the way back to Ellis Becker, so there's a couple of decades. Are you kidding? Oh no, no, no. This is a it's a paper if you want to look at it. Hey, it's a third, 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 third one. You want this job? <laughs> third one this year. Everybody asked me. That was Goshi. Yeah. He likes cutting trees now. Yeah, he's not, not very environmental friendly. He's not There's another one up here. Go big or go home, I guess. Apparently, you just don't understand the legal system. Oh, no, not no. Apparently. You don't, which you take. <laughs> You're probably getting close to retirement, huh? Oh, yeah, it's on. It's on. Yeah, where are they? Two screwdrivers. Can't say anything. Yeah, I don't know if he's got it on or not. Yeah, I, he's got it. It's retirement. So, Maureen, you're going to stay at Magcock for another year? Yeah. Roger took my spot. <laughs> yes, I had to be on that nominating committee. Did you? Yeah. So that's how it got. I was like, that's okay. I, no. But I did say after that, then, no. <laughs> I mean, I was on that when I first started, when Joe Myrie. Yeah, I think Joe Myrie and I both started it about the same time. Now, poor Joe retired, though. Yeah, he retired. He said enough of it. I realize that, Roger. <laughs> A little salt in the moon there, ain't you? Yeah. Uh -huh. I kind of miss him, though. He was a good guy. Oh, I. Joe was a good guy. He was. Joe was a very he, good guy. He, uh, he really knew. He was very yeah. capable. Uh -huh. He knew people. I mean, the meetings, like every three months, you knew everybody by name. Yep. And he might only met you twice. And yep. he knew names. Oh, yeah. Joe? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yes. As far as tip districts, he was an uh, expert. He knew the in and out. He was. Yeah. I mean, he absolutely was. He worked with Bob Justin yep. in the very beginning when they were developing that yep. through the state of Iowa. And then, um, you know, so Bob was really his right hand person. Yeah. But I, I gleaned a lot of information off of him. Oh, I did too. Yeah. And it was always accurate. Mm -hmm. Didn't have to question it. <clears throat> yeah. You shouldn't let people like that retire. 
Like me? No. Yeah, it's like Joe. Shit. Well, you, you're not retired. Can I see that packet? I mean, no, not mine. This? Yeah. I just want to yes. Last one. I took it home, set it on the desk. It's still sitting there. Mine's sitting there, yeah. But I didn't read the one from the power line either. And that was. Okay, safe 489 papers. It's a lot of papers. That comes in this spring, Bob and Trish. I think they went down to East Atlanta. Trish, that's that center city. Oh, yeah. Where? Yeah. 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 They brought us down around it. They came back with cooler after cooler. Yeah. 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 I probably think so. They said the eating down there is, we like seafood. There's good eating down there. Oh, yeah. For sure. I remember mom and dad went down to. Uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, sure. Mardi Gras. Okay. And they had an old guy give them a tour, and he said, "No, two cages of food is not bread and round. Two cages of food is with spices. Spices. Because now they kind of changed it, so if they say Cajun, it's like, oh man. See the Iowa State. Oh, uh, that's so large. Quite a great question. Six o'clock. We're at. It must be at Iowa because it's Iowa State yeah. and top of the must be at Iowa. No, I appreciate it. No, the boy, his dorm floor, they all been going to the Iowa, the girls' Iowa State games, yeah. basketball. Yeah. 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 Play Iowa <laughs> Thursday. Iowa State versus Iowa. Oh, that's Thursday. Iowa won play tomorrow night, and then the, <laughs> isn't Iowa State going pretty good? Yeah. And then uh, tonight's the Iowa. Yeah. Good. 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 I think the Hawkeye meant for it. Yeah. Iowa plays Duke at 8 30 tonight. Boys tell me if they go to Iowa State boys' game, they get charged. If they go to a girls' Iowa State game, they don't get charged. Why is that? As a student. Yeah. They should have a season trip at season time. Um, there is a student section, but. It's probably the demand difference. I mean, if Boys it's cool, cool, the girls like two players. Yeah, I mean, the girls can draw a decent crowd. And yeah. They fit from the year, but it wasn't, pretty good. it wasn't every seat in the house. So that's probably why they give it free to students to get more participation. No, she's a I would just about guarantee that the demand because. Men, you can you can fill every seat in the house. So if they see a free to do, you'd have the whole campus there. Yeah, I know. I've been to a football game last night, so everybody told me, "Oh, is that one of the ones that's right there?" 
Philippines, but I will use it anymore. Yeah. All we do is kill trees in yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I told Mars to send you out to Jenna saying what my obligations are. Why should I be responsible? For right, it should have been here. No, you're not supposed to be responsible for that. All right. They didn't leave boundaries. I told right. her I'd make it. Oh. Which that that I can understand, but I don't know how the other ones can be served if they're not employees. They could be served at their home. They don't work here. These are things they're supposed to be served in person. Yeah. But those are the prior well, motions really don't live really here in the and they'd be served at this address. They can't be. I thought you had to sign for them. I didn't sign well, for them. I, 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 I didn't have a stack in my name. Well, sure. I thought you guys had to sign them yes, sir. I think you must. I thought you did too. But I am a good right shit. Yeah, you want clear back Yeah, exactly. You served the first thing that you got. I don't know how they got served. So what you're saying that next he pulls it stone again next year, I get served again even though I'm gonna sign for probably begin to insert the next or to the library. You know, it was the it's mostly like she has. Oh, yeah. We did have yeah, some money. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell is One's over there, they got it. Got it. I'm not sure. I'm not off the library. I'm assuming that. Oh, yeah. And Marie coming to talk. She's okay. She's like, yeah. She is. Right. Thank you. We got two minutes. You're in left, so. Oh, no, she's, oh, she's, there. Right. she's right there. Behind you just can't see her. Oh, she died. You don't get off that easy. We're going to put cut a hole through that pole. Yeah, I think that'd be a heavy load for the up to date. <laughs> There's nothing on the third floor, is there? You're post underneath it? I don't want the third floor to be on the second floor. <laughs> <laughs> because of the window there. Well, yeah, that's probably part of it. Yeah. Put a steel beam on a steel beam. It's funny they have one here, but they don't have one on the other side of the hallway. 
Yeah. Just because of the window? They don't have a big, they got a big window there too, don't they? Yeah. yeah if you look, the courthouse gets wider here too. Yeah, it is. It's wider on this side. Those are yeah. in a straight line with the rest of the uh, wall. So the outside wall would be load bearing. Yeah. But this is the only place in the building they have a pole. That's probably because of this. It is 10 o'clock. We will reconvene. And our first thing on the agenda at 10 o'clock is Kasuth County Economic Development. And Maureen, you're hiding back there, but we're still going to call on you. Or whoever you got. Yep, that'd be me. Um, I'm Jason Warchick. I'm the president of the KCDC. Um, I also work over at Iowa State Bank. I'd like to thank the Board of Supervisors for the past commitment to KCDC and a lot of us present our material this morning. The uh, budget we're presenting today is the same as years past. We're requesting uh, $125,000. Good morning. My name is Sean Dunant. I'm a board member of QCDC. I work at Farmer State Bank in Colorado, Whittemore, and West Bend. Um, I appreciate your time today. Um, I'd just like to briefly highlight some of the marketing and workforce initiatives that we do. As we all know, the, the ability to find qualified workers is very strained right now. Here in, Across the country. Uh, two of the things that have been very successful for us is emailing businesses, the people that live in the area, and we match those with these resumes with potential employers. Uh, and we, our employers also post job opportunities. Both of these initiatives have been very successful in the past year. Um, marketing issues. We do business called visits. We can call our existing businesses in the area. So we appreciate them, see what their needs might be, and see if we can be an aid in that. Our business survey, we send out a survey to Gauge their gauge what they need, you know, how they're how they're doing, their future plans, etc. Um, economic impact analysis, you know, what we do, how we uh, aid the economic activity of the area, newsletter, calendar events, website, all of these I feel are very critical to what we do into growing our business area in the area. Thank you. I'm also the chair of the revolving loan fund. Um, the, the, the fund was established in 2004 for small business development. It provides a source of financing, which may not otherwise be available uh, to start up for startup and expanding businesses. Loans are for up to 10 years for a maximum of $50,000. So far, we've made 21 loans totaling $720,000, and approximately 112 jobs have been created or saved in the area. Some of the local businesses that we've helped include. Uh, KLGA, Gold Eagle, Point Transfer, Country Bay, Snap On, and Aluma. These are just a few businesses located in Sioux County, not to mention the businesses we've assisted in Palo Alto. We meet with a variety of potential existing businesses to assist in providing guidance on business and marketing plans, along with coordinating our efforts with the area SPDC. Morning. I'm Christy Newman from the City of Bancroft. I'm in the City Administrator there, as well as the City Clerk. Um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about um, what KCD does for business developments and community betterment, as well as professional trainings for the area. Um, I would say the professional trainings has been greatly beneficial to many people in this community. Um, we don't have the opportunity to get a lot of professionals to come up to Northern Iowa. They tend to stay down towards the Ames, Des Moines area. And we're able to group different areas and different businesses, government and the private sector together to get some valuable training in human resources, payroll, uh, leadership, number of things. And then at a cost that is reasonable. Um, KCDC has been able to provide that for many people, and that is just a valuable resource, as well as the clerks all meeting together. Um, I think that is a huge attribute to the to the county that the clerks are all learning what needs to be done, and I think it ultimately helps our relationship with the county, with Tammy and the treasurer's office, and how we communicate with each other and that we're all on the same page and we're understanding what we're doing and we can talk about it with each other. So that has just been huge. Um, we just had a clerk's meeting where we had someone from the state of Iowa Economic Development Authority come in, Amy Kuhlers, um, and she discussed Iowa source links, which brings 
many uh, tools for businesses that we now have access to that we can tell local people when they're looking for something where to go and get some of this information. Um, so it's been great. We have the intern program, so many leadership development courses, but it's just been invaluable to the government side of things. Thank you. I'm Aaron McCartney. I'm on the EAC Board of Directors. I'm also on the CEO Steering Committee. I represent Tantaka Bird Communications as the general manager and Brighton Communications as general manager, both of those pursuit county footprints. Um, as you can see, we've made great strides in the growth and uh, fostering of initiatives in our county and our county organization. To continue this momentum, we need the budget to sustain these programs, which have benefited immensely. Uh, EDC board directors would like to thank the board of supervisors for your past commitment and look forward to future support for these causes. Uh, thank you all for the opportunity to present this material today. <clears throat> Actually, cut off the press is our new newsletter, which I did provide in your packet too. So, and um, we do two newsletters a year that cover a six month window. Um, so, <laughs> um, do you have any questions for us or um, anyone from the audience have any questions for us? Lori, do you have any questions for us? <laughs> I serve in a lot of state and local and regional boards. Um, so we have, we try to make sure, and that's one thing that the board of directors from the very beginning had said was a critical piece to us, is that we make sure that we are going to make our area known and make sure that we are committed and, and will, you know, show that um, we want to be a part of things and be at the table when there's decisions that are being made. And I would have to say, I'm very happy with what has happened over the course of time, especially during the COVID time period. Um, it was really important to be able to be on those state boards and to be able to give input. We did bring our contractual agreement, the 28E agreement that Tammy has. Yep. And it's our annual agreement that is now required by the state auditor's office. Other than the 2080 agreement, you have anything else you'd like to present? Or? Um, Roger, should I be presenting anything else? <laughs> <laughs> no, not that I can think of. <laughs> Everybody was so direct and got done so yeah. quick, you know. I was, well, as you can see, and, and Roger, you're a part of that, um, and Donnie was too. Um, Jack, over the years, you've been our alternate and served on the board again. You've served during a time when it was very critical, mm -hmm. um, when we had a very critical project for our area. Um, Jack was very good about jumping in. We had a very small amount of time to be able to put this project together, and it would have had a huge impact on our area. Um, it was, It is located in Algona, Iowa, um, and it would have had an impact all over, um, I would say probably about a good six county area if we could have, if they would have left and gone to Plymouth, mm -hmm. Paris, uh, Arkansas. And uh, Jack was very much involved in all of the, the process with that. So there are many times that we have to pull in Board of Supervisors when we have things like that because they're a critical piece for our area at the county. They represent the county and what can the county also do to be a part of our incentives and um, initiatives and also to show the real support that we need to have. Thank you. If there's nothing else on that, we will go to the 2080 agreement that we have in our folder with KCEDC. I move we approve it. I have a motion by Mr. Plath to approve. I'll second your motion. Is there any discussion on the 2080 agreement? Just for clarification, has this gone through Todd? I assumed it has, but I don't know. Yeah, I sent it to Todd. I don't know if I got a response, but it's the same as last year. So okay. last year's okay. went through and he yeah. approved it. So he hasn't sent it back saying that he has it. Okay. It's pretty generic. Yeah, that's what I thought. I didn't see any issues in it. I just didn't know if he had looked at it. I did send it. 
We have 2080 agreements with everybody now, I think. Now we have to, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hearing no more discussion. Do a, do a roll call vote while my throat gets better. Stecker? Yes. Casey? Yes. Class? Yes. Jerks? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just want to say, Dylan, thank you for your time and service. Yeah, thank we you. greatly appreciate it. Thank you. And I wanted to make sure that Donnie also knew that we were very appreciative to have his years of service. So, um, thank you. Do you want to just, do you want me to come over and get the call? Oh, here. We can sign it now. We can sign it right now. Um, would you also like to send a text to come and meet and we can go over? Yeah, I'm sure you Let me see if we get meeting until two o'clock next week, Barry. Can you that? Yep. Okay. In case you're going to meet with her next week, it'd have to be after her. No, it was January. Okay. Yeah. I had it down for 10 to 4 next week. Yeah. And, yeah. and some, I have a couple that want to reschedule that can't make it. So I don't know what times so they're going to want to reschedule. So okay. I kind of just want to come off as well. You got the time set for the compensation board yet? I'm looking at it, um, the 20th at 5, but um, I have my phone from my investment bill. I just wrote that he can't be there. But he said it means that but that's okay to go ahead without it, that he doesn't need to be there. I go back to you now.
get these. No. Okay. <laughs> It's 10.15 and we will have a presentation, I think, by the Library Association, so take it away. Good morning, everybody. Are you making us stand here? <laughs> yeah. we're, we're a little short on representation today at the busy time of the year, um, but we'll introduce ourselves. Um, I'm Lori Walton. I'm the director of the Alabama Public Library. My name is Damian Strecker, the director at Titanka. I'm Sandy Long, the director at Winmore. And I am Lady Mitchell, the director in Wesley. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll start us off here. I'm, I'm going to start off kind of broadly and then I'll focus it in a little bit. But uh, I just want to start off by saying thank you for your support the previous year. Um, you know, I'm kind of new to Iowa. I've been here for a couple of years. I've been a library director for, for less than a year. And I think one of my, my biggest observations of being in this part of Iowa when I first arrived was the uniqueness of uh, the library situation in the small towns. It's something that, uh, that I think is sort of unique to the area and is really just healthy for the region. Uh, in a lot of ways, I just think abstractly, Libraries can be a great equalizer. Uh, you have different school districts, you have kids going here, you have kids going there. There can be different qualities of education of teachers. But as long as you have that library card in your back pocket, when you essentially have you know, humanities accumulated knowledge uh, just at your fingertips, and to be able to preserve that, um, which is something that we're doing, which is something you guys are contributing with, I think is essential, not just uh, you know for for this program or that program, but I would argue even for democracy itself, which may seem like a hyperbole or uh, an overstatement, but uh, that's what I believe. And I think a lot of the other Sioux kind of, kind of libraries believe that too. Um, and you know, I, I think we're more than just a library too, is I think everybody will attest up here that, uh, that with a lot of the towns not having schools, uh, a lot of ways we're, we're the community center, the meeting place for the school, for a senior center, for a computer lab. Um, we sort of pick up all these different things that, uh, that the town needs. Uh, and I think all of us too are uh, very mindful of making the most with the money that we have. Uh, you know, all of us write grants, we fundraise, we get local taxes, but the county is a crucial piece to our overall. Uh, annual budget and the library would look the way it does now in Sioux County without, uh, without your guys to support. Um, and then, you know, I'll end with just a few specific things that I found the library's done over the past year that, uh, it's like maybe just a little anecdotes. Um, yeah, Tech Club Tuesdays. I've, I've taught people, I've taught more people how to send an email with an attachment in the past year. <laughs> That I did that I thought was possible. <laughs> uh, but you have a lot of people that just aren't familiar with it, may not, may not have it at home, and uh, are very excited just to learn uh, some new basic things. We have, I think, the best pizza in Pursuit County. It uh, yeah. reeks. I don't know if have some disagreement yeah. on that. But uh, we have pages for pizza at the Titanta Library. It's a shameless ripoff of the, the Book It Club that uh, Pizza Hut used to do. But, uh, we're next door to a pizza place named Reeves, and they've donated pizza the past few years to where students put in uh, so many reading sessions, put a stamp on it, you take it over to the uh, pizza place, and they get a free pizza. Um, and, you know, uh, we've had a lot of presentations at the library, so I think a big part of, I guess, my mission the first year is to bring as much local talent as possible back to the library. Uh, there's a lot of people that uh, grew up in Titanka that might have moved away and still have family there. There's people that are born and raised and have lived there their whole life that have a lot of unique skills. And I think the library has been a good sort of venue to, to display those for the community to learn from and enjoy. 
So you know, we had a, just this month we have uh, somebody that's you know politics reporter for NPR that's from Titanka. It's going to come back when she's home for Christmas to give a talk on journalism. Uh, at this Saturday, we got a guy in town who uh, started his own brewery. He's going to talk about the uh, the brewing process and how how beer is made. Um, so yeah, I think there's sort of a, a lane um, at the library for for us to sort of bring back and, and give a spotlight to local talent. Um, and yeah, that's it's just a little snapshot of Titanga. I'll give the floor to anybody else. <laughs> give you a quick snapshot of Aldona. We are reaching people from birth all the way to the elderly senior citizens who are coming in for technology training. And we want to thank you for your support because the support you give us enables us to be able to have the programmings that we offer, um, support the people that come in that need some assistance. Well, uh, the two of us are probably two of the newer librarians in Kasuth County. And I have to say one of the most fun and rewarding pieces of my job has been working with this group of librarians. They are talented, um, they're dedicated, and we have started to work more and more together on group projects, which I think they'll tell you about. We did this summer, we did the uh, Sioux County camp, library camp out at Smith Lake. And we all worked together on that and pulled the funds from our association. And wow, it was really good. Even though I couldn't be there, I heard lots of good. So we had a lot of fun that day and we drew a lot of children from across the entire county. And we have to thank the Algona school system who supplied the buses to get the kids to Smith Lake. That was wonderful. Um, there were other groups that supported us too. I think. Um, I'm the president of the association. I don't know how that happened, but um, I just got renewed. Yeah, you know, <laughs> this is my third term. Um, what are there? Twelve of us in yes. there are twelve libraries in Kittitas County, and it's not. We aren't just books, and I think I say that every year. We're not just books. These are twelve people that hold positions that are passionate about libraries and helping people. Um, it's not just I'll help you find a book. It's I will help you set up your Kindle. I will help you add an attachment to an email. I will teach you how to whatever. Um, whenever, whoever walks in the door, I'm whatever I'm doing at my desk stops and I'm helping them. Um, and the 12 of us working together, which we do very well, um, really sort of helps that. We'd like to do another kind of county camp again this year. We want to keep it fresh and new and exciting for the kids. Um, Last year we brought in a bald eagle, and I don't know how we're going to top that because that was probably the coolest thing that's ever happened in my life. But um, so we'd like to keep collaborating and and working together on projects like that too. Do you have any questions? We're that good at explaining. <laughs> You've been in here uh, yeah. every year, I yeah. think. Maybe. It's new for the two of us, though. So. Yeah. Nothing changes, but everything changes. Yep. Yeah. What's yeah. What's your request for this year? It, they got it in there. It's in the brochure. Yeah. It's in the brochure. Yeah. It's five percent. No uh, library association. Yeah. yeah I, I, I appreciate our library there. We'll see again next year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you very much again for your yep. support. Yep. What, what are you going to do? No, I'm just going to ask if anybody else had any questions for you. Appreciate what you do. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Thanks, you guys, for We're coming in. Everybody. A long day for you, Bobby. I hope they're all as fun as we were. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be hard to beat. Yeah. You know, one person that saw me through uh, TVC, he gave a presentation at the library. He's actually a stunt pilot. Oh. <laughs> you would never tear him apart. He, uh, he has a secret life as a, as a stunt pilot. <laughs> <laughs>
He buzzes over his head over the top of Algona quite a, almost every day. Good luck with the rest of your meeting, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Have a good one. Thank you. Anything else to come before the good of Kasuth County? I think next week we uh, look to be agenda ready, so I think we're good. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Motion by Casey. Second. Second by Spectre. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed. We're done. Uh -oh. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the glass bunkers we the the Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll put it up on mm. yeah. Okay. You want to put them up there? Yeah, we can put them up there. That way everybody don't look at them. We'll put them up.